YouTube and welcome to just another installation of just another OTR guy just another OTR guy here and we're coming to you live live when I recorded it <laughs> from Fargo Petro so today we are going to do the long-awaited We're gonna wire up the sleeper panels for my chicken lights. I've already got the uh, the cat panel ones installed or uh, wired up and ready. So we're gonna do these. I'm gonna show you these, and then we're gonna go to installation. Let's do it. So firstly, I'm gonna flip it because these are zip tied together. So we're gonna get these off. Oh, hi. <laughs> Been putting this off for months. Months and months. Ow. Okay. Gotta keep them separated. Hey, hey. What do you say? Okay. So, boom, boom, we've got them. And so this is my front or driver's side. And this is my passenger side. Let's start on the driver's side, shall we? Get our lights. Had to buy a couple more lights because I miscounted. Zip ties, non-using plugs, and then boom. So each side, each panel has uh, 13 lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox 13. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Tri plug. So we got should have two lengths here. There we go. Thirteen. Untangle and I'm gonna take the rubber grommets off. Look at those hands. This table's filthy too. Oh well, we're gonna get a shower in a little while. Pardon my dirty hands, huh? So let's undo. Pull this off. But All right, you get the gist of it. Three, two, one. Uh, nope, don't lick it. All right. We've got them separated. Lights, grommets, and I also went and fished these guys out from under my bunk. The truck's 17 inch. I had bought these to put behind my grill a long time ago, but never did. This is by no means going to be a permanent thing because I'm gonna buy a boogie lights kit to put for underglow but I wanted to see I don't have enough to do it can hold three of these 17 inch but I only have four <laughs> so I'm gonna put two on each side and see what it looks like so we're gonna put the lights through and then we're gonna wire this into that wiring harness and that way we get a little bit of underglow too It'll probably be underwhelming, but we'll go from there. Let's hit these grommets up. So I couldn't decide between pulling it off or leaving the protective on, especially not wearing gloves. I'm gonna get finger fucking prints all over it. So I'm gonna put them on and see what it 
see how it how it does. So boom, just squeeze, and it's on. Ta-da! Now let's run these through. And all you do with these now is they're a little too big to run all three plugs, so I do two. And the third. Pull it through. Push. Done. That's it. Let's go down the line. Boom. Good. Now let's flip her on over. Get her wired up. Me. Boom. Boom. Now we gonna run it down the line. Yep. Like that, like so. Now we're done. Just turn them on. <laughs> so we're gonna plug them in. And then we're going to use our tubing, wrap it up. I don't know if I included the other video I made when I did the cab panels, but the way I have done it with this triple is red, it's auxiliary, negative, positive, or I might have to go look. I think I did. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Black is positive. White is ground. That way, when I get the wiring up to the front, boom, this is gonna go to my switch that has the blue lights to my visor. Uh, and then these are gonna go to pow power and ground. So, amber and power blue ground negative so run it down the line and get there Okay, gonna go get some rubbing alcohol to wipe down the panel here, the top panel, to adhere this 3M tape. Gonna go get the rubbing alcohol, see you in a second. Got my rubbing alcohol, I'm gonna put some on there. We're gonna give it a good whap. Clean it off so it adheres well. Oh, I love the smell of rubbing alcohol. See, look at that. And it looked pretty clean. The smell of rubbing alcohol brings me back to elementary school, the computer lab, where we used to have to get out the little al alcohol swipes and uh, clean our ear but our earmuffs off. There we go. All right, so we're wiped. Boom. Ta-da! And with these, since I only have four, I'm gonna center them on the bolts here, or on the uh, the mount. Bam. So it'll be like that. I feel like the light's gonna be weak, but it's worth the shot see how it goes and yeah so let's get them on so there we go that's about what i'm thinking uh hopefully the light will overlap a little bit if it's brighter but we don't have any light here or in between the cab panels and the uh sleeper panels plus i don't even have any 
strip lights to put under the sleeper panels or the cab panels so this is just an experiment to see what it looks like and then i'll re redo them another time let's get these mounted and then let's start let's we're gonna splice these into here and then we're gonna get it wrapped up and do the other one see ya one doesn't have to be perfect but i am ocd as shit so i'm trying to put this to where it uh doesn't get in the way of the bolts and i can get a socket on that without the panels without them being in the way okay Same thing. Okay. I'll make sure I'll double check all these too to make sure they're all pushed in all the way. And so now I gotta go get my heat gun and my uh, butt connectors to splice this in. See you in a second. Okay, so this is where I clumsily put my Warren together. As I'm going, wait, hold on. Wait, this one? No, this one? That one. Yep, that one. Twist them up, put them together. If you want to see a wiring video, go to where my uh, video fixing an in-op tail light it'll show you a little bit more about splicing and heat shrinking and everything like that so i put these together wire in the uh the strip lights to it which is what i'm doing right now and then i'm gonna bundle up all of these wiring harnesses electrical taped the actual three prong plugs and zip tied and taped all of the uh the slack and tubed it all up to keep it weather tight and protected okay one panel done this is where we connect to the cab panel and we are lined up oh i'll have to tuck that up a little bit so it's not hanging down below it there we go let's do the other one All right, children, okay. So there we go. We are wired up. Got the walking dead going. We've got our light bars wired up. And we're ready to connect front to the door panels. I'll take all this off. Uh-oh, where when I go to put them on? Let's go to it! Okay, okay. Are you sure, man? Okay. So now that we've got all of our panels wired up, we're gonna be removing this and these. Only problem is I'm gonna have to snip it because I put my train horns through that corner piece. So I'm probably just gonna snip that instead of unplugging all the train horn shit. All right, so for our wiring, what my plan was is to run to power to the switch through my coax hole, which is behind this panel, and we're gonna remove oh, bolt, bolt, and then there are three bolts inside, and this panel comes off, and there's a hole with a grommet right there, and we'll run the wiring up from here the front of the panel up to here and through and that way it's easier to get to the switch and then i'll connect the passenger side panel from the back of the of the driver side one and i'll secure it up along under the sleeper 
and put it on. There are little bolts underneath and that's it. You just have to take all the bolts off and these lower panels just come off. <laughs> so we're going to start with the first one here. And undo on. This is where I fast forward. Okay, there's that. There were six bolts, 10 millimeter. Get the rest of them. Two. That piece. Next, door panel. I believe there's three, but there might be one or two under. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've taken this off. So boom, 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 be right back. Okay, left out a step. We take off our hood latch. It is a 13 millimeter. And then I loosen these two, it was a 10, 10 millimeter. And the three inside, 10 millimeter. And so then we literally, did I forget something? There's a hole. What did I miss? So, because the door is closed, let's see. Oh, I think it's because the mirror. Nope, oh, nope. It's because the mirror was on, but no. I need to take my stairs off. Yay! But that's how you do that. And that's where we're going, right there. I'm All right. So we got that panel off, took the stairs off. If you've never done it, the stairs are close enough is 11 16 So you loosen one, uh, two up there and three down here. And then these two, and it just slides out. But you have to remove the stairs. And uh, the block heater area, but I was saying there were two more 10 millimeter bolts that I had forgotten about. And this is my block heater. If you see, it's got a little push button release on it to take off this. The actual plug housing that was riveted in. I took the uh, rivets out and had to bang this thing out with a punch and a hammer because it wouldn't come loose and I had never unplugged one of these so I didn't really know what I was looking for I'm gonna spray the shit out of that lube it back up and then we're gonna get to installing let's do it welcome to the new shiny so I put my bolts back in reconnected the engine heater it was uh rivets so luckily I had screws and bolts to uh, secure it so did that and now we've got our blue is the red power is black and ground is white so I'm gonna get those ready to be connected and forgive the dirtiness in here. <laughs> it's all of my electrical. We're gonna go through the hole right there. Not the broken door <laughs> thing. The, the grommet right there. And then we're gonna go through to the, the fuse panel up where if you could see those wires, I'm gonna pretty much run them right with that. 
up to my blue light switch, which is right there. Sorry if I'm jumping ahead and not showing absolutely everything. I don't want the video to be super long, like for it to be just more informative. And then we've got, boom, blue, power, negative, or ground. And then we're gonna connect the long ones. And then go around and boopity boppity boop. Welcome back boys and probably just boys, but <laughs> ran them through here. Uh, stuck it behind this bracket. And then I've got my wiring to go boop right there. I'm gonna put some tubing on it to make it fancy and then get them hooked up so I can make sure I test my lights before I keep mounting. All right, so we got the one panel installed. It's getting dark. I've got my three wires prepped and set up to a fish tape going through there with all that other hoopty wiring. I'm gonna pull that eventually and fucking tube it up and clean it, but it's going up. Through there, I took my dash apart a little bit and pulled the panels where the the lights are for the uh, the marker lights for the tractor. So gonna pull it up through and splice it into the switch up there and then we can make sure this bitch works. We've already got it wired up. Boop. And then I can add go around and I'll be done. Yeah. So I'm gonna add a little uh, a little update of something that I ended up changing when uh, I did that was my marker light, which is right here, did not work. It just did constant power, and I it was late, and I was pissed off and couldn't figure it out on how to get it to turn on with that. So I ended up running the amber power to, in this pillar here, uh, I turned my switch on. I turned my switch on for my my clearance lights and took my test light and found the correct wire and I ran my amber into the pillar on the wiring here and then the blue still went to my spare switch uh, and then that was it so back to the video <laughs> all right updating got the wiring set Sweet it was a gift from my father. Got the blue lights set. He gave it to me just before now I let's took off on the Now let's them and be fucking done. I want a shower. Put this back on. Got this guy connected. And this guy secured on. Nice and shiny. And I've got that wired up to the switches. Now I'm about to connect these two. Next, connected the set the panels and ran wiring across the back underneath the sleeper to the other side. And here we go. Thunder glows actually did a pretty good job for there just being only two. Been great if there was a third one in that dark spot. Okay, so that is it. That's it, that's all it took. Wire it <laughs> and do it. If you need to know the wiring to the switch and my the lights and everything to actually turn them on, go to my other videos, go look at search in my videos. And I have a how to inspire, inspire, it's late. Install chicken wire lights. Go do that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and this helps you. Uh, 
Have a nice night. I'm fucking tired. Bye. <laughs>